brings us to the city of angels los angeles california coming up we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the detroit lions taking on the la chargers and able to get this out to the 25. Now their versatile running back, here's Austin Eckler. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Eckler are going to get it again on second down. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. So now an early third and 10 here on their opening drive. Back to throw here, Herbert. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there, and now fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. On is the punter, Scott, here as he gets this one away. Dances by him. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Lions will take over. Now Goff on first down. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And meanwhile, Goff's throw into the hands of Reynolds here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. St. Brown in motion right. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Goff now looks to throw. That is caught by Laporta. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Sam Laporta, 27 yards. And the Lions are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that <laughs> at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that.
Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. The 4-3 defense there did its job, funneled things right to the middle linebacker. If they do a nice job of playing team defense, everyone takes care of their responsibilities. That allows that guy in the middle to do his job, which is search and destroy. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Well, touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Here's Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And almost, but not quite, needed ten. He got nine. Fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Second and ten, golf again. Going underneath, Gibbs. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. And picked up by the Chargers. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. Running on first down, Eckler. Tackle made that time by Aline McNeil. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Ball on the 27. Here's a second and five. Out of the gun, Herbert. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he stopped immediately there. Asante Samuel able to make the play defensively. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held them to no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Goff now to throw. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. Golf off the bootleg. This one swung out to Montgomery. No gain on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. 
Patterson's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Charger drive about to get going. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Now second and nine. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He's going to wind up and air it out. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there for L.A. 46 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Herbert now. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 12 more yards there and another first down. And this offense has been a little slow to get going, but some signs of life here in this second quarter. They're moving it pretty good, and that helps the cause as well. Good yardage and another first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now it's Herbert. That's complete to Palmer. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Chargers! Gerald Everett, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers have cut it back within a score. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. 
Here's Khalif Raymond to return. Khalif Raymond now. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, <laughs> right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. <laughs> Here's the 12th overall pick in April's draft, Jameer Gibbs. And not much doing there, maybe a yard up to the 23. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Gone. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They're just going to run a drive route here with their tight end. Let him get upfield about 10 yards and then move toward the middle of the field. This ball's right on target and it results in a first down. Goff on first down. That's complete to the Porta. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the gun, here's Goff. Throws out left, it's caught by Williams. And he's brought down. McGoff and Williams hooking up there for a Lions first. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. On first down, it's gone. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Say hello to Eric Kendricks. He gets the sack there. That's a ball he needs to let go of there. Wasn't the most time in the world to work through his progression, but NFL quarterbacks, they've got to sense the pressure. They've got that internal clock, and the ball has to be gone. And if you're not going to escape and run for it, you have to let it go before the pressure gets to you and puts you on the ground. Goff's throw going into the hands of Williams. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Back to throw, gone. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 17-yard line. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Goff. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And the Lions are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Now Goff. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. 
Again, golf. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Lions would extend their lead here just before halftime. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. And just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Extra point by Patterson up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we send you cross-country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Raymond now on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Taken down at the 42. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's second and seven. St. Brown in motion right. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. If this defense wants to stay in this ballgame, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do, and right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. Sack. Took too long to get rid of it. Sebastian Joseph Day able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. They need to stop to get back into this game. And here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go into the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Returnable here for Davis. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. On first down, Justin Herbert. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and 10. A shotgun snap for Herbert. 
Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Jack Campbell with a pick. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop them. But let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here. If they... And now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes, indeed, the red flag is out. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Charger drive about to get going. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to... On Herbert, his third interception. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Now second and five. Goff now looking to throw. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Goff to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. This is caught. Touchdown. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old reference there, folks. But, yeah, they've been the better of the two teams by far, and that's great complimentary football right there. Defense gets the turnover, sets up the short field, and the offense goes right out and scores to open up a pretty sizable lead. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. But it's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. The turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well, and that's really 
unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't admit it to themselves, but we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football, no more turnovers, and see how that works. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Herbert able to show his wheels as he gets the first. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Dancing to his left. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time when nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here's a second and five. Here's Herbert. Pass over the middle, tipped, but he still brings it in. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches. You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. Herbert. That's to the pylon and incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now this likely a must-have third and goal. Operating from the gun, Herbert. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. And they snap it to Herbert. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. From his goal line here, Goff. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. 
On second down, Montgomery. And from the four, they get it to the eight on a pickup of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Call. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. On first and 10, here's Gibbs. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Good game there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. He ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That second down play, that's a minus four. Now that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking at the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. And the Lion first down. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second and five. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. <laughs> Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. This one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Southern California, so long, everybody.